Hello guys, this is Pawan Kumar and you are watching Archibald Studies. Uh, this topic, the types of windows, is very important from the examination point of view and many questions from this topic has been asked in architecture entrance examinations like NATA, JAE means paper 2, GET architecture, etc. And apart from the examination, if you are an architecture or design student, then you must know the different types of windows and their characteristics. Hence, it becomes a very, very important topic for you to understand. So the types of windows which we will be studying here, these are categorized on the basis of function and the position in a room. So let's see the first one. First one is the fixed window. So this window is fixed in wall. We can't open or we can't close. And generally these are provided just to admit the light inside the room. Okay, that is the primary functions in most of the cases we can't say this is permanent in most of the cases it happens so this transmit the light into the room we can't close and we can't open since we can't close or we can't open this has to be long lasting and weatherproof so that after a few years this would not corrode otherwise we will have to replace them and it might be costly also so second one is sliding window in sliding windows, we see mostly two panels or three panels like this. In this one, these panels move along this frame. So both the panels can be like this and this area full will be open or these can be this side or in third case, one can be this side and one can be this side. So this will close the window. This movement happens with the help of the roller bearings, which is uh, like placed in uh, the bottom bar and the top bar also sometimes okay so this eases the movement otherwise if there are no uh, roller bearings or ball bearings you will see the creaking sound or it will be noisy while sliding so that's why we provide the roller bearings these are among the cheapest options in the windows and uh, these are good also and many a times like uh, they offer a lot of light and air both into the room or any space these are widely used and mostly we see this in residential buildings or hostels residences etc next type is pivoted window so in pivoted windows there is only one panel as you can see this and they are pivoted at the center so this will turn like this and it will turn like this to open and close so that's why these are called pivoted because they have a like pivoted point at the center of the frame and these can be vertical or these can be horizontal also as you can see here depending upon the amount of air you want the opening can be increased or decreased okay so next we have stash window in stash window uh, they are similar to the sliding windows but the panels or the sashes move up and down in sliding windows it was left or right in this one it is up and down so the difference between the sash window and, and sliding window is that the technology used to like uh, to move these sashes is different in sliding windows it was roller bearings but in this one it is not roller bearings if it is a roller bearing if you move up it will come down once again because of the load and gravity so they use a different kind of technology that if you uh, move a little bit up it will stay there it will not come down so we don't use the roller bearings in this one uh, next we have louvered window so louvered windows are a different kind of windows like specifically only for movement of air so if you see the section the cross section of this window it will be like uh, this will be wall okay and you will have the frame in this frame you will see something like panels like this okay if i make it the bigger picture panels will be like this so you can't see from this side or this side but the air can move so this is the structure of the lower window these can be of 
uh, glass or metal or wood louvers can also be folded by the provision of cord or pulleys in this case it is not a window it is like a curtain type of uh, you, you must have seen in clinics or in hospitals also in many offices also there are something like uh, these kind of things are attached with the help of one thread and once you just pull the thread these will be flipping over and and it will be closed or open similar to this kind of we also have a jalousy window jalousy window are similar to the louvered window okay so the main difference between two is that the jalousy window louvers can be opened or closed at any desirable angles to increase the visibility and ventilation so these will you can see these are the louvers this can turn as per the requirement of the air next is casement window casement window has uh, two panels like this this can be three also four also these panels are attached with the frame with the help of hinges both side these are the most commonly used windows we can see like these are used everywhere these are excellent wind and rain resistors and these are perfect for the cold climates also next we have corner window so as the name defines these are installed in the corner of a room or any space they offer light and uh, ventilation from two directions from this side you will get light in that portion of the window like room inside and from this side you will get this portion of the room full air and light and one of the biggest like the advantage of this is that it increases the beauty of building so next we have the bay window or we also say bow window bay window protrude from the uh, wall surface it is outward and so it creates more space in the room it adds more, like more element to the building so it, it increases the beauty of the building and uh, but the one drawback is that the cost of the bay window is quite high so uh, many people don't prefer this similar to this we also have a oriel window oriel windows is a form of bay window which protrudes from the main hall of the building but it does not reach the ground and mostly we see these are projecting from the upper floors so next is the clear story window these windows are provided when there is a level difference in the roof as you can see this is the at the higher level and this is at the lower level so this area which is left in this one the windows are provided and the shutters are able to swing with the help of cord over pulleys cord over pulleys so there might be something like this attached with this and with the help of that cord you are able to turn the panels and these also enhance the beauty of the building next is gable window gable windows are uh, provided mainly at the gabled end of the pitched roof you can see this is pitched roof and this portion is known as gable and a window in this one is known as gable window it's very simple so this provides the ventilation and also increases the appearance or the beauty of the building next we have transom window or hopper window transom windows or hopper windows are provided at the upper end of the wall you mostly see in just below the roof you will see these types of windows in this one shutters can be hinged on the top or these can be also hinged in the bottom and it will open like this that is also one way next is lantern window so lantern windows are provided over the flat roofs the main objective is to provide the more lighting and uh, air circulation that is the primary functions of the lantern window okay as i said the these are provided over the flat roofs so if the roof is like this and there is a cut out these are provided above this something like this okay these are not installed in the cut out so in future if you want to close this opening you can easily close next we have the skylight window skylight windows are fixed windows installed on the flat surfaces what does this mean 
last time we had like this opening like this and this is the cutout if it is above this one that is lantern window if the window is provided in this cutout itself then we say it is a skylight window and it typically doesn't open does not open but if it is a venting skylight then it will open slightly to release the air pressure next we have the egress window the term egress means going out or leaving a place therefore egress window is a window that provides an opening large enough for residents to safely exit the building in case of emergencies so next is the awning window awning windows open outwards like this and they have hinges in top similar to this we studied one more window that was if, the, if it is close to the roof and we have like this opening it opens outward then it becomes the transom window transom but it is not near to the roof it is in the middle or somewhere middle of the wall so these we can't call uh, the transom window or the ventilators these are the awning windows these windows are best for insulating the room and pr protecting the house from heavy snow or rain so next is the storm window storm windows are fixed outside or inside the main glass window so we can say it is an add-on add-on to the main glass window extra the purpose of these windows is to improve the thermal insulation soundproofing and protecting the glass window from hail or branches that we mostly see, see during the stormy seasons okay next we have a uh, dormer window dormer window dormer windows these are provided uh, on the sloped face of the roof okay these are projected from the sloping surface and they provide ventilation as well as lighting so this was the last window and hope you learned something from this video and if that is so then please like this video comment if you have any queries and share with the friends who are studying architecture or preparing for any architecture interest examinations and last and most important make sure you subscribe this channel because if you do that it will be a help for me